My name is John Pallas and I'm going to present ATG EL. So it's an expression language extension to ATG. It allows you to use repository items as if they were native beans inside JSPs. So I'm going to first of all present what it is, ATG EL. Then I'll go on and present how a developer would use it. And probably in the next part, I'll go through how it actually works under the covers and go through the source code. So this is an open source project, um, so you can freely download, modify. Um, I would appreciate any contributions, um, so I can roll it back into the project. That'd be great. Um, so let's, let's get on with it. So what is it? Um, it's a small extension of ATG that allows native JSP expre expression language to work. So in JSP, you can use standard DSPL tags to do the following. That's profile.firstname or an HGL profile is an implicit implicitly known object. So dollar profile dot first name. Okay, so that's reasonably simple. But when we have a look at a bit more complicated page, you can see how um, it simplifies the JSP quite a lot. <coughs> so, why use it? First of all, it's more standard. Um, more J2E people will actually understand it. And it's, it's just native JSP. Uh, secondly, it's very fast. On the very fast point, I've got some sample pages here. Uh, there are two pages. One is written in standard ATG and the other one is written using ATG EL. So first of all I'll go off and I'll execute that and then I'll talk through the code. So this might take a while to execute. Okay, so let's have a look at what the, the standard J is. So we've got ATG droplet value uh, item lookup droplet <coughs> passing through a user ID looking it up from the profile then we get out um, the element first name and what, what we're doing here is we're getting the user profile and we're using the to map to wrap it so that we can do this dollar user profile dot first or in ATGL you can do something like this nucleus dot find profile so this is the function that's been written I'll talk more about those this in the second part. So there's a function which actually returns a repository item, a profile. And then from there, the anti-GL kicks in, which can do dot profile. Okay, let's see how our page is evaluating. Okay, it's finished. So this actually this page actually runs it that piece of code, or this piece of code. 10,000 times. So I'll, I'll show you the JSP in a second. Uh, that executed in 58 seconds. So now I'm going to execute a page which contains this, this version of the code. And that took around 67 milliseconds. So, not only is it a lot simpler, it's fast. It's, it's somewhere around the order of 10,000 times faster for, for that sort of evaluation. And we'll have a look at the, J, the JSP, and it's not, it's not particularly unusual. Let's have a look at the, the actual JSPs themselves that I'm using to test this. So this is the ATG one. Okay, so it's it's just takes a some very crude timings here. Iterates through ten thousand times and writes it out. And the other one does a similar thing, iterate ten thousand times, but the source code here is is reduced down to a single line. So we've got one line as opposed to this. 
So you can see how much that is going to help in the maintainability of your code. So that's kind of um, the basis of, of why you'd use it. You can see that in this one, I'm also using function. So this this is a a JSP function that I'm calling. Not not quite a tag library, but it's it's a, it's a effectively a simple way of writing a tag. Let's have a look at that and how that combines with the EL expression language resolution. So you can see that this says nucleus. So we've got a whole bunch of nucleus functions here which are inside the TLD. And here they are. So you, you define them quite simply, these functions. Um, you tell it what the name is and what the parameters coming in are. And I think it was fine profile. So fine profile. There's the signature. It returns a repository item. Fine profile and takes in a string. And there's the defining class. So let's have a look at the code. And these are very simple to write and, and very simple to put in the page. So now we can see that it's a, this one. And let's go off and have a look at the find <coughs> profile. So here it is. So yeah, it's it's effectively one line with some, some error messaging around it. So find pro profile, oh, get ID. So it does repository, um, profile repository, get item, ID, that's repository item, and it's returned. So that's about all there is to it. So then this will return a repository item and next the ATGEL bit kicks in, which is the expression language evaluator, which then goes off and allows you to do the dot notation through the first name. So effectively this dot notation will do a get property value first name. So how you actually get that wired in to ATG is what I'm going to be talking about in my next part. Um, thanks for listening.